All right, and we're back for chapter three of the Clowny Adventures. Let's get right into it. <clears throat> I can't read from water. I won't get it. Keo felt very sore. After having ridden the Tauros, who he had nicknamed All-Star, for two days straight, he felt more than exhausted. He had trained the Tauros to speed up and slow down by abusing him, as every good Pokemon trainer does that. Pokemon sure had taught him a lot of good advice on how to train animals. It seemed to be about four in the morning as Keo started to do so. To doze off. He was unable to do so, however, as a bright light from the sky. Bright lights from the sky shone straight at his face. It reminded Keo of a time when he tried to watch Pokemon early in the morning on TV when it was still dark out, and a multicolored barrage of lights in the shape of bars would flicker across the screen instead. Come one, come all, man with an Indian accent called out. This man had bleached white skin and a rainbow colored afro hidden by a pink beret. He sported a dark green suit. Come to the greatest wonders of the world we had to offer. This man seemed very peculiar to Keo. It wasn't the odd look or attire that of the man that seemed odd, but rather the fact that he, he reminded him of somebody. Keo was too tired to remember who, though. All star ran at the man, curious as to what was going on, and where the source of lights was were coming from. Why, hello. You are one of one hundred and you are the one hundred and twenty fourth creature to pass by here. You can be the second step. You can be the second step right on in. For no fee at all, Keo was confused. Was this man talking to his Tauros? Hello, sir. My name is Keo, and this here is All Star. We were just on our way to Razzari's clown school so that he can teach me everything there is to being a clown and making people happy. The man stared at Keo in a thoughtful manner. Hmm. He seemed to have very pure intentions. I, I remember when I left my home planet, I felt the exact same way. Are you a clown? Keo asked slowly. Why, yes, I am. The clown said very enthusiastically. I trained under the, all the great clowns of the last thousand years or so. Keo ignored that last part. He may be a little insane, but he seemed like a nice enough fellow. Then Keo realized something. Wait, you know Raspberry? The smile erupted on the clown's face. Know him? Why, I know him better than anyone. If you know Raspberry and you are a clown, go to the circus like approach to your audience. Why, Keo, there is a lot more you have to learn about us clowns. That's a lot you have to learn about us clowns. We are never defined by a single point. We need the mix ups and the reads. So we may be unique who we so that we may be unique, improve our act, and overall improve ourselves and entertainers and bringers of joy. That, Keo, is the true meaning of life. Keo pondered this. It seemed pretty deep to Keo. Then he remembered why he was here. Sir, Keo asked. May you please take me to Hazard and Put in a good word for me. I want to be a student and learn the art of the clown. Another smile erupted on the clown's face. He started to burst into laughter at this. Why, Keo, my boy? I'd love to put. I'd love to put in a good word for you, Tarazari. Just step right through there, and your wildest dreams will come true. And no doubt, the clown disappeared into a puff of smoke. Keo looked around. What had the clown been talking about? He looked behind him and saw a giant in striped tent that he swore had not been there a minute ago. Keo rode All-Star over to the tent and stepped inside. He noticed two things immediately. One, the clown was standing on a soapbox. Two, a boy who appeared to be the same age as Keo, wearing a black cloak. Keo wanted to examine his person more, but the clown suddenly started to talk. St suddenly started to talk. Hello, now that we're all here, it's time for me to begin the process of introducing you to clown. The clown simply started... Then the clown started to apply red makeup on his eyes. He reapplied it, creating vertical streaks resembling streaks of blood on his face. We clowns have a bad reputation. The media likes to portray us as this. Keo stared at the man. He did look rather spooky like this. As murderers. We are not murderers. We just like to make people happy. I made a vow the day I left my home that I would make people happy and not look down upon people that may have judged us worse. I would make them happy. Them and every last person I could find. Keo could relate to this strongly, remembering the bully that was Lol Kid and his tennis stump that threw Keo on the edge to become a clown. I think we should all introduce ourselves. I am Razzle, world renowned clown. I've spent my years here learning the secrets to making people happy, and I will share them with you as you are. I have no idea what that is. That's that Japanese text. I'm gonna Google search it right now. 
Hold on, we're gonna go, go a, little, a little history lesson here. Not really history lesson. But, um, so what uh, the frick does that mean? Um, I'm just gonna go back to the story. You will learn to be the best you can be, and find your destiny. Would you? Would one of you two like to step up and introduce yourself now? Kyo was in shock. This man was Rajoy. What was Rajoy mentally insane? Did he need to be taken to a mental hospital? This man has spoken about murder, about being an alien. In all fairness, he looks like a trans—he looks like a transvestite. Kyo's thoughts were interrupted by the other boy who wore the coat. My name is Kyo. I am 11 years old. I want to be the best clown in the world. With that, he tore off his cloak, revealing his face. It was the same as Kyo's. How could this be? Was Kyo impersonating Kyo and wearing a mask or something? Impossible. Razor looked at Kyo. He was signaling they need to introduce himself now. Hi, I'm uh, Kyo. I came to learn to be a clown, studying the great Razzle. My goal in life is to make people happy, and hopefully everyone will think well of me in the future. Kyo said this all unconfidently, not because he wasn't confident, but because he felt rather awkward with that Kyo guy around. Kyo made an evil glance to Kyo's direction. Before Razor could say anything else, Kyo elevated his voice to a magnificent level and said, Oh, Kyo elevated his voice to a magnificent level and said, Kyo, I will be a better clown than you. I will be the best. I will be a shining star above the rest, and there's nothing you can do to get on my level. With that, Kyo threw his cloak back on. This angered Kyo. Kyo knew that he would not allow there to exist anyone so obnoxious in the clown community. Kyo knew that he needed to humble Kyo down to his knees. He would outperform him and be the best clown to mankind. Well, that was it. That that's chapter three. Uh, this story isn't over yet, so we could expect a chapter four pretty soon.